After Jesus died, a few of his friends, including a woman named Mary, took his body, wrapped it in linen clothes, and placed it in a tomb near the city. It was a very sad and confusing time for Jesus' friends, especially Mary. She was heartbroken. This was the man that she had followed and dedicated her life to. He had taught her everything she knew about God. She remembered the first time she met Jesus. Some angry men wanted to kill her for something she had done wrong. They brought her to Jesus, and instead of being angry with her, he loved and forgave her. She believed with all of her heart that Jesus was God's son, and he was going to save the world. But now he was dead, and like the rest of Jesus' friends, she didn't know what to believe anymore. How could this happen, they questioned. What are we supposed to do now? This isn't how it was supposed to end, they thought to themselves. The religious leaders, on the other hand, were thrilled. We have finally gotten rid of Jesus, they said. And just to make sure that none of his followers would try to come and take his body, they sent soldiers to guard his tomb. And they rolled a huge stone in front of the door of the tomb so that no one could get in or out. Early on Sunday morning, just before sunrise, Mary and some of the other women who knew Jesus went to visit his tomb one last time. Even though it was a beautiful morning, it didn't feel that way to Mary. She walked along the road to the tomb in sad silence as she remembered her best friend and how much she missed him. As Mary and her friends approached the tomb, they noticed something was different. The giant stone that had sealed the tomb was no longer in front of the door. It had been rolled to the side and the door was open. The soldiers who were supposed to be guarding the tomb were nowhere to be found. The women were perplexed and they cautiously took a peek inside, not knowing what they would see. As she looked inside, Mary noticed there was something missing. Jesus' body was not where they had laid it three days earlier. In fact, his body wasn't there at all. It was gone. Mary was about to shout for help, but before she had time to say anything, someone in bright, shining clothes appeared before her. It was an angel, and he asked the women, Why are you here? Tombs are for the dead, but Jesus is alive. Mary and her friends couldn't believe what they were hearing. They thought, could this really be true? Is Jesus really alive? They wanted to believe what the angel said, but they still had so many questions like, if he is alive, then where is he? Why haven't we seen him yet? The women turned and started to run back home to tell everybody the amazing things they had heard. But Mary stopped. She saw someone off in the distance. That must be the gardener, she thought. I'll go find out if he's seen Jesus. As she got closer, Mary called out to him, Sir, I'm looking for someone who was buried in this tomb, but I can't find him. Have you seen him? She asked. Mary, he said. That's strange, thought Mary. I know that voice. I've heard it many times before. It's, it's Jesus. She screamed excitedly. Her heart felt like it was going to jump out of her chest. But, but how is this possible, she thought. She was there when he was crucified. She saw him take his last breath on the cross just three days earlier. She even helped wrap his body and watched as they placed it in the tomb. But it was Jesus. He was standing there right in front of her. She fell to the ground and began crying tears of joy at the sight of seeing her best friend alive again. She wanted to jump up and give Jesus a big hug. You can hug me later, Mary, Jesus said, but now you need to go tell everyone else that I'm alive. Mary took off running as fast as she could down the same path, over the same hills and by the same trees that she had passed that morning. But now she didn't feel sad. In fact, everything looked different. The sun was shining, the birds were singing, the flowers were blooming, and Jesus was alive again. She couldn't wait to tell her friends that everything he said was true. He really is the Son of God. They're not going to believe it, she said to herself. This changes everything. And she was right. Everything had changed. Jesus and his father had done it. Their plan worked. They beat sin, they beat death, and they had made a way for all of God's children to be with him again forever.